Wait, what's on the enemy team? Is it trolling? Oh my god, there might be trolling going on. Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. I'm just going to roll into the video now because I just saw the enemy comp. They have an Aphelios support. That's not a thing. Um, I'm pretty safe to say that's not a thing. So if we bring up the old load of Medudar here, it's like a mid-diamond game. Some plats, smurfs to be honest. Uh, didn't mean to click that. We're against a Cold Streak Zed, who doesn't play Zed, so that's a bit funky. Again, arguably a Smurf. 55% win rate, no match history, so that could be a Smurf. The Trist is a Smurf. The, the Amumu's a Smurf. <clears throat> but this is a bit funky. So they're auto-filled, so maybe they're a bit annoyed that they weren't given mid? I've no idea. Uh, but obviously, yes, we're back on the main account, because I am wanting to get back to High Diamond. My goal of today is to get at least back... Oh, God. Uh, to get to Diamond 3. So we need two wins, and we're in Diamond 3, and that is today's goal. But who knows? This could be a free win, but I have no idea what that's about. But yeah, a lot of Smurfs in this game. Uh, so again, it does happen. I'm on my main, main account right now. This is my highest ranked account in League. I still get Smurfs against me, and that's just the way that it is. That's just League. I've never been that bothered by Smurfs myself, and obviously, yes, I might just be biased because I do Smurf content, but you can learn a lot from playing against Smurfs if you actually pay attention to what they do differently to you. I'm a bit weirded out, though. Hmm. Okay. Weird. Hey, Rez. They're actually going to go for that. Okay. That's probably gone. Our red, then. Comp-wise, I probably prefer our comp, because, you know, their comp isn't exactly what we'd call balance. They have two AD carries for some reason. And we don't know if, like, trolling is about to happen. Is Aphelios going to take the farm? We have no idea. So, uh, somebody in like will go, oh, has such and such YouTuber played a Felios support? <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, for God's sake, it's always the way. Whenever you see a stupid pick, it's always like a huge league YouTuber clickbaiting the hell out of the video and then saying it's overpowered when in fact they just played it in like bronze rating and then make it look good. It's like, great. So he's picked a center item, by the way, because anybody can buy that, but he's actually picked the center item. So he is actually supporting. He's legitimately playing support of Felios. See that Spencer dude? Alright, Moo Moo. Weird to see a Moo Moo, man. If Renekton loses the early game, this game's over, by the way. As I said, I really, really don't like people playing Renekton nowadays. I do not get why people have, like, valued Renekton so highly this season. It's confused the living hell out of me. Oh dear. Wait, what? Amumu, you're not getting away there, bud. Like, what? Why would that Amumu even flash? Unfortunately, I don't get doubles, but that's still pretty good for us. That's really bad for the Amumu. Yeah, I've done the double armor trick in this matchup, so I've actually started to do the double armor trick a lot because it really messes with people. So in my runes, I've taken double armor. And people just don't realize, and then that's why you're so tanky in the early game. Um, well, at least should have the early game. A little bit behind on XP now, though, because I went for the roam. That's the only disadvantage to me doing that and not getting really anything for it.
Dink. Come on! I didn't get that kill! No, that must have been so close. Oh my god, look at his health, man. Wow, that's terrible by those two. Two early game champions losing to a late game champion and a Moomoo who has no early game. I don't even understand how they would have lost that. Did the Zed level up as we were going for the fight? Yeah, that sucks. That would have been a really good kill, but like, to be honest, the roam screwed me a little bit in this lane. Doing- what? They just dove. Doing the roam and getting nothing for it has really hurt my lane phase here. So that's the unfortunate thing. That could go well, if the least can get there. Uh, it's Neebs. Thank you much for the 16 months tier 1. Nice. That's good. They've recovered that quite well. They much do for the 60 months tier 1 sub. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Nice. Okay, they've recovered it. I don't know how they lost it before, but they've recovered it now. That was a cocky Amumu. Basing, like, right on top of the Renekton. I don't know. <laughs> Longsword, anybody? <laughs> What the hell, dude? You got a collection there. Are we there yet? I'm dead. Oh, this lane is so done for me. I, I so regret. I so regret going for that roam. Getting behind half a level and XP has just ruined it for me. I need a gank. Oh, I hate that I went for that roam. Again, it's my own fault. It's literally my own fault that I went for the roam. God damn it, dude. Oh, it's so annoying. I think I need a rush of Seekers because of how fed this Zed could get on me on the 1v1. Ah! Polymorph is such a good ability. Holy moly. Nice, and they all live for now. That at least pressure, though. Oh, he's 2v1ing! He's 2v1ing! To do dragon, though. I kind of feel sorry for the Trist. Does anyone else feel sorry for the Trist? She's legit got a support of Phalios. Which isn't a thing. I, uh, I actually really feel sorry for her. You don't feel sorry for her, chat? Whoa. Ah! The passive got it. The little spiderlings got it. I really needed that. I have no mana! <laughs> wow, that was a really bad miss. Trist is now mid, by the way. Uh, Donegan plays how much do for 52 months 52 months uh, with uh, tier 1 with a 52 month streak says sorry I haven't managed to catch a stream in a while but much love as always buddy no worries dude again if you haven't managed to keep a streak um, sorry catch a stream but you've still kept your subscription like dude thank you so much that is really generous and kind thank you also yeah Tristana has tilted out a bot lane and Zed is now there and Zed's gonna instantly kill my jinx An ally has yep been slain. I think Jinx probably was used to winning and then was like, wait, Zed can kill me, and then didn't realize she shouldn't 1v1 the Zed, who's actually decently strong. 
So, so far, the trade for the enemy team has been a positive one because they've only ended up now with a kill on their Z. I'll try to kill off Valios if I get positioning on him. Need a little bit more mana, I'd say, and then I can go for it. I think I'm going to get the Rift, Rift Herald mid, though. That'll do. Oh, I didn't get the kill. Oh, wait. Aphelios died. Double kill? Is Aphelios, like, AFK? Like, that dude was just sitting here. Like, I... Okay, question of the day. Would you guys report this Aphelios? I think I'm going to because he's literally AFK back here. Like, he has to be trolling. Like, what he won. He's picked an Aphelios support. But secondly, he's just sit sitting AFK back here. Yeah, Twitch chat is all saying yes. I don't know why people are like this Aphelios, dude. So I'm reminded, this, this is my main account. We're in Diamond. So it's not like, oh, we're on a Smurf. It's just low rating solo queue. This is Diamond rating on EU West. So it shows that trolling and everything like that, it happens everywhere. It, it really does. There you go get mana, finally. Not a good game from me, obviously, but this also game, I will say, this game shows you the power of, like, in higher ratings, if you make a mistake or you do something bad, you get punished for it. I got punished so badly for going for that one roam. That one roam to go for the Amumu got a Z half a level above me, and that makes all the difference against a pretty good player because they, they use their advantage. Like, I'm just screwed in that instance. Zed gets half a level on me, hits level 6, kills me in the 1v1. I'm just screwed. Like, that's where, like, in lower rating, maybe they, the Zed wouldn't have done that. He may have not thought, oh, I need to punish that I'm ahead of the Annie. I can now get ahead, kill her. That's, like, a lot of what, like, high rating can be. Is you make a mistake, it gets exploded. Insane, like, more proportionate gets, like, punished. Than anywhere else. And obviously, it gets more and more the higher rating you go. This guy's just trolling. I feel so I do feel sorry for the Trist. Like I do. She doesn't deserve to have a troll support. No one does. I wasn't going to go flash for that when my team was already getting the kills. So I get a free win. Um, again, I'll take him. I've had plenty of game in the recent times I've had free losses, so I will take a free win. I'll upload this probably as a second video of the day, because yes, it's not the most flashy game, but still a very educational one in terms of that thing about roaming. This is where, like, the instance that don't roam. So this, this Zed is annoyed, so he's just going for that all-in. But, yeah, th this is the lesson of, you know, if you do go for that early roam and it doesn't pan out, it didn't, you know, it went well for my team. My least got the kill, first blood, double buffs. Didn't work for me, no XP or anything. So that's where you, you've you got to be careful about going for those early rooms. If they work, like if I killed the Amumu, got double buffs, great. I would have got XP for killing the Amumu. I got a double buff, so I would have had lane pressure. It would have been fine. And not getting anything for that roam is what screwed me. How's it going? 100 biddies from Big Foo Root. Uh, Big. Big Foo Gooty. <laughs> that name. Thank you very much. We here at Huzzy Games are the, the Canon Conservation Trust. Ega Boogie Boy. Um, may cannons be safe in my presence. Again, this guy is a Smurf and Moomoo player, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw, but on Poro, he's a Smurf and he's the ranked 207th Moomoo in the world. It's still a Moomoo. So, yeah. Three level difference of top laners, but Renekton them by himself. Oof. I think Tristan is afk by the way. Oh, no, she's dead. Never mind. She's 0-6. You know the cannons still die? Yeah, but not by my hand. There's a difference.
That dude's rage playing. Again, I, I feel for him, but that dude is a straight up rage playing. Really weird aggro plays because he's just frustrated. Again, I never like people having a troll on their team or whatever, but don't try not to let the emotion get the better of you and then start rage playing because that's just what, what happened to the Zed. I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised if Zed just runs down here and tries to kill me. Alright, there we go. But let, let me know what you guys think about this game. Like, Trist is 06, which obviously isn't good. But, like, how much fault do you put at Trist and how much fault do you put at Aphelios? That's the interesting conversation. Um, I'd put probably, like, Trist is not completely innocent. You shouldn't be 06. But I would put it probably more at the Aphelios because you have to also, like, realize it's also the mental thing of I've got an Aphelios support on my team. Like, you're laning with an Aphelios support. So, yeah, I, I personally would probably put 65 to 70% on the Aphelios and 30% on the Triss. That's probably what I would put. Um, but it's always going to be a, a hard kind of issue. Um, but there we go. We get our first win. Uh, yes, we'll take a free win because why not? Um, always take them when they come. Uh, we went 2-1-1, plus 19, so up to 95 LP, and damage-wise dealing, just very mediocre damage. Because, again, a lot of this game was not about mid lane. It was about people getting fed in top or bot. Um, but we'll take it. Again, free wins, be happy when they come, because they, they are far and few between. But what you can take as the educational point from this game is that roam. Really be careful of when you roam at level 1 or level 2, level 3 early game, because that is what really screwed my lane, is actually going to go help kill the Amumu, when I probably didn't even need to go help. Uh, maybe me going there made him go more left, but I think the, the Elise had him, to be honest. But uh, that is going to be it. A uh, little bit of a, a quick game, but we'll take it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Hope you're all doing well. Goodbye.